you let this crowd know, he definitely plans on riding him. Oh, they're going to take a look, but man, oh, man. Nobody likes this bull from a rider standpoint. You know, he's not, he's not like a bruiser, one of those top level type of bulls, but he is great at getting his job done and putting guys on the ground. What happens in a rodeo arena between the animals and riders is a big part of the competition, but it's not the only thing that makes for a good show. Someone has to be there to describe the action in a colorful and informative way. The announcer has to make it interesting for people who always show up for the rodeo, and he has to educate the first-timers. He has to know the rules, the animals, and facts about the people involved, all the while full of energy and enthusiasm. It's a special job performed by a special person. The bull's head slams into the rails that seem to scream in pain. The stock pen settles, gives up any reason to complain. His hoof digs deep, then hurls a hunk of rodeo real estate. Clear snot leaks from his nose while frightful eyes are filled with hate. His beller joins the chorus of the rough stock in the pen. Rank critters bide their time until they go against the men. Doug scrutinizes fury as he tours the holding grounds. He makes a mental note and then continues with his rounds. Doug studies all the livestock, knows each rider's record stats. He gladly shares his info if a rider stops and chats. He'll tell just how a horse turns out emerging from the chute, how high they buck or sunfish, and pull extra rain to boot. That smoldering volcano that was smacking rails of steel might have a thought to gore you when you hit the dirt and feel his hot, damp lava breath exploding in your personal space. The clowns are there to save you, but this tip helps with the chase. The gates have finally opened and the crowd is filling seats. Doug makes his way to saddle up his quarter horse, who greets him with a knicker, says he's ready for another show. As rodeo announcer, Doug has turned into a pro. His mother may have worried that he'd be a cowboy bum, but fate had other plans and dropped a beauty of a crumb. He'd signed up for bull riding in a small-town rodeo. Results were a disaster, and a stockman told him so. He tells Doug, go upstairs and start announcing in the booth. Doug says, I'm no announcer. Stockman says, well, here's the truth. You're no bull rider either. Call the action in the ring. Years later, Doug has honed his craft and makes that old Mike sing. He's polished smooth as river rock, describing what you see. A ton of thrust and thunder is a horse's bucking spree. Doug gives the crowd a ride and energy that's flowing high, then takes them back into the barn as if the evening's nigh. He educates the crowd and each contestant's claim to fame. Spectators feel like family as they hear about each name. The riders all have paid their dues while working hard to win. Doug thanks them for the time and effort that they've all put in. His mind is sharp as spurs he wears with wit to fill corrals. A voice of velvet baritone can rival mission bells. Doug's earned the sweat that stains his hat. He wears it like a brand. He sits tall in the saddle with a mic grip in his hand.